Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading and yes I took a day off yesterday a bit of a break a bit of a mental health day um, to get over that bad energy the very toxic energy around the princess announcement from Montecito well from People magazine and of course yesterday there was a much better announcement uh, about Prince Edward finally got his dukedom Duke of Edinburgh very much deserved it was announced in uh, the best possible way uh, with all the dignities and honors and praise and the dog agrees <laughs> uh, it was not announced in people magazine it was announced the proper way while uh, the new duke and duchess of edinburgh were in edinburgh and all smiles all pleasure and um, dog seems very excited about the fact that i'm talking to you about the duke of edinburgh um, the reading is a bit more sinister um, than um, the happiness around the announcement of much uh, deserved titles. I've read on all of that before, of course, uh, it should be in the previous playlist, previous Royals playlist. It did look like something he was just going to have to wait for and uh, the fullness of time it was uh, awarded to him, granted to him. And he looked very pleased. He looked uh, very bashful when he announced uh, his wife, the Duchess. Um, so it was all very lovely. It changed the energy uh, very nicely and um, uh, amazing how quickly these new cycles change now with the royals. Uh, we had the best part of the day with uh, crowing from Montecito and that ridiculous pep walk. And then boom, it was all over and it was all about the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. So ups and downs, swings and roundabouts. I'm using the new Palladini tarot for this reading. And uh, the reading is, as I say, on a more serious topic. And that is the topic of Prince Edward, the Duke of Edinburgh's health. Uh, because a lot of people are concerned. There are a lot of rumours and whispers and speculation going around. He seems to have lost a lot of weight. He seems to have aged. He has, of course, lost two parents, much loved parents in uh, recent times. Um, there's been a lot of stress in the royal family, of course, with what's been going on over in California. Um, so there's that. But I'm just going to do a quick five card reading with the new Palladini Tarot to see how he's doing, how he feels uh, about his new title. How he is doing physically, is there something going on behind the scenes that we should be concerned about and long term, how is he going to do? Um, so that's uh, that's the reading. We do sometimes read on health matters and because it's a serious topic, let's remind you that this is just um, a tarot reading that we're doing. It's energy, it's rumour, it's my opinion. We do it for entertainment purposes. We read on the royals because they are archetypal and we can learn from archetypes. And of course, there is a disclaimer in the box below. And the cards are warmed up and I'm warmed up back in the energy it was nice to step out of it uh, yesterday but it's good to be back and uh, five card reading let's see what's going on it's a saturday afternoon as i'm doing this reading here in south africa a gloomy saturday afternoon we're having unseasonal rain and cold um and uh, it's quite disconcerting i have to say uh, it's normally March for us is the absolute best weather, uh, particularly where I am in the Western Cape. And uh, ooh, we've got some quite harsh cards as the underlying energy. And I wish the dog would be quiet. He's had his walk. He's had his dinner. And uh, he's just pacing up and down and talking. We've got the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords in reverse as well. We'll take them both out because uh, they, they're sort of similar. Um, he's getting over a heartache and what he thought was down and out. Uh, I think that he thought that uh, it wasn't going to happen with that Ten of Swords. But it's the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Three of Swords in reverse. I think that he thought he was going to be betrayed. He was going to be stabbed in the back. His heart was going to be broken. He was very close, close to his late father, the Duke of Edinburgh. Took over the Duke of Edinburgh Awards and uh, has worked very hard and very loyally and faithfully for the royal family. I think he thought he was going to be um sold down the river so to speak in favor of the brat son and as if the dog making noise isn't enough the neighbors are at it again they just time it this they must have a camera paula's doing her tarot readings let's start making noise <laughs> they've been quiet all day and they were dead quiet yesterday not 
a peep from them. Anyway, oh drama, it's all happening here at Mad World Tarot. Uh, so yeah, uh, this has been a painful and an anguished time for him, but we are on the road to recovery. We are talking about his health though. Uh, those are recovery cards. So if something's been going on, the underlying energy tells me we're on the road to recovery. Let's hope so. For his sake, I do like Prince Edward, the new Duke of Edinburgh very much. I think he's a he's a um, uh, unacknowledged, um, uh, he seems to be very self-effacing and um, one, of the, one of the good ones in the royal family as far as I'm concerned. Situation, we got the page of pentacles, that is um, a communication about an honour, a title that is, here it is, finally, um, you get it, you are acknowledged, you are rewarded. Page of Pentacles is a reward uh, for, for, for loyalty and long service and devotion and all of that stuff. We see you, we acknowledge you, there it is. Um, we're talking about health, so we're talking about two things really. Uh, the award, the, the title and health. And health, Page of Pentacles is good news. It's uh, If you've gone to a doctor and you get a Page of Pentacles, you're going to get uh, a clean bill of health. Um, from from your medics because it's a communication it's very positive it's very it's 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 solid energy it's good uh, and and pentacles are about the body we've got good news so far we've got recovery and we've got good news let's see how he's feeling right now about being finally uh uh granted the dukedom of edinburgh i hope i'm saying that right uh, very pleased. This is something that's unblocked. I'm, ge I'm getting a smile on my face as I see that card. Um, the energy is coming through to me of absolute pleasure. Grin. He can't stop grinning. I'm actually feeling emotion as well. Quite tearful. Um, good tears. Happy crying. Um, eight, of, eight of wands. Good news. It's all positive. It's finally unblocked. It's finally resolved itself. It's finally happening. And everybody's hearing about it. And in a very, very good and positive way. And everyone has responded very positively to it. So it's all absolutely lovely. The um, two in Montecito are trying to trump the story by announcing that... Um, um, Harry's aunts were at the christening. I saw that news breaking just as I started this reading. But uh, uh, he's got the news cycle now. And uh, that's all that counts. Okay, moving on to the actual topic of this reading, the health situation. How is he physically? Ace of Pentacles. That's a good card. Uh, it's not an illness card. Eight of Pentacles is hard at work. Uh, he might be working on his physical self. He might have decided something like he wants to detox or um, change his eating habits or uh, there might be something that he's decided he needs to work on. And um, yeah, happens in your 50s <laughs> when things start to break and hurt <laughs> and you look in the mirror and you see your mother or your father and you think, oh no, <laughs> I don't want to go down that road. Not necessarily. I don't want to have whatever happened to them and uh, time to do something about it if it's not too late. We could be dealing with something like that, that um, he's just... Um, he's he's working. He might be Ace of Pentacles. He might be working too hard as well. He might be pushing himself a bit um, because he's um, he's been through stuff. He's been through heartache. No, no denying that. Three of Swords and Ten of Swords in reverse. He's been through it. He's been very, very hurt. He might have been very, very hurt about all these rumours and the speculation that he wasn't going to be made Duke of Edinburgh and it was all in vain and he was going to be betrayed. He might have been tossing and turning and thinking, oh, woe is me. He's a Pisces. The, uh, Pisces sacrifice energy can get quite miserable, can get quite depressed. Vast generalisation. Um, and the Ten of Swords as well. That something might have happened to him that he is now recovering from. But also, of course, the grieving period. Um, he's still deep in mourning for his mother. You don't get over it in six months. And it's been exactly six months. And of course, she had very serious health issues before she passed away that they tried to keep from the public. Uh, it was very clear to me in the cards that she was suffering from some very serious health issues. But um, so a long period of dealing with uh, parental health issues. Being there myself, I'm sure many, many, many of you have been there. It is enormously stressful and draining. And the odd thing about it, this is purely from my experience, is that it's actually worse afterwards when they're finally gone 
and you're grieving and you are lost and you spent so much energy and you've been so invested and so focused on trying to keep them going and support them and then they're gone and it, it all falls apart it, it kind of falls apart for the carer at some level and I think e Edward and Sophie were very much the carers in the situation while all the other nonsense was going on around them from other members of the family and not just the ones in California so let's see if there's something that we should be deeply concerned about that they're hiding from us no Wheel of Fortune is a very positive card and especially when it's upright it can mean that there's a little a little twist of fate going on, but it's it's a good luck card. It really I would really struggle as a reader in the, in this context in particular to read this as uh oh there's a there's a disaster looming. There isn't uh, not according to these cards, not according to the energy of these cards. Wheel of Fortune is a going into better times it's it's about timing and it's about blessing it's jupiter it's it's the santa claus of of astrology who's come bearing gifts there it is there's the page of pentacles there's the gift it's your time now it's your turn now it's 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 all going to be great from now on you've been having terrible times but now it's shifted now the wheel has turned now you're on a positive cycle so i'm not concerned here i'm not seeing anything here to be concerned about how about right now how about long term and long term we've got a, a, a beautiful card it's an absolutely beautiful card the star uh, the, it is the card of healing the star it's about uh, um, hope and blessing and um, being in, uh, being being watched over I think he's going to get the very strong sense that he's being watched over from above that um, he might feel some very powerful presence um, from both his parents um, looking down on him looking over him helping him guiding guiding him strengthening him I'm not seeing health issues here I'm seeing that there might have been um, but recovery healing um, and finally in due course he's on he's on his soul his soul path now with that star card and will be going into the future so, so that when it comes time and we're talking about timing here the wheel of fortune when it is time for whatever to happen as inevitably happens to all of us um, it will be in a very blessed and very um, uh, spiritual and profound way and that's all I want to say about that. Uh, nice reading. Very, 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 very difficult underlying energy. When I saw those cards, I thought, oh no. But the rest of it is all good. We've got movement. Eight of, eight of wands and eight of pentacles. We've got f movement and progress after a, a stuck time of the sevens. Eights are finally we're free to move again and exercise and do and be. And I think that he's... He's going to recover and respond to this blessing. This it's not a windfall. This 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 good fortune. This this blessing. This acknowledgement. This reward that he's got now, and he's going to feel that he is being watched over and blessed, and um, loved, loved from the spirit world. And it's very very important for someone I think as sensitive as he is to feel that. And so that is your reading. And thank you for watching. I'm going to get on to the next one.